Hi guys, welcome back to our CA Inter expected questions for law paper for September 2024 exams. We did this very well in the old syllabus and we got almost every attempt 40 to 50 marks correct and this time also we are guessing for September 24. But the, again this is not a guess, this is a trend analysis. Let me explain how this works for you. Let me take a small sample. Okay. Now this analysis you can see over here. You will get access to everything but you have to watch the video till the end guys. Now this is an analysis I have done, I have zoomed in as much as possible. You can see from May 2018 till the end of previous syllabus, November 23, how each chapter and topic has been tested, we used to analyze and look at trend. For example, if you look at this, for example, if you take meetings chapter, management and administration. Last time in old syllabus May 2018 in, in around May 2018 and November 2018 they have tested concepts like annual return, adjournment of AGM for quorum and notice concepts and register of members were tested for almost 20 marks. Now if I proceed to the latest exam we did not do this analysis for May 24 because I told everybody that time. First attempt we can't do it, we have to see the pattern what is being tested. In May 24, if you see guys everybody, what recently went in meeting chapter, exactly they tested quorum for almost 10 marks adjournment of quorum and presence of quorum and they also tested little bit of AGM related concepts and AGM related concepts relating to where you will keep the meeting. So you can see that the same old syllabus is repeating for few chapters. If you again see May 24, one more trend let me show you. Preliminary chapter, incorporation chapter and prospectus chapter put together, they asked only 5 marks. That too it came from private placement. That means in incorporation and preliminary chapter, they asked 0 marks in May 24. That means in September 24, I can expect at least one question guys, at least one question we can expect. Like this we do some analysis. Let me show you one more thing. Books of accounts, if I take accounts of company, in November 23 and May 23, 6 marks and 6 marks they asked CSR, very important amended area. In your May 24 exam, CSR was not tested. So that means for September 24 exam it becomes important. So what I have done and also if you look at this reopening of accounts was tested in May 24. That means for September 24 it is less important. Keeping all this in mind we have prepared the expected questions for September 24. In this if you look at meeting chapter I have clearly mentioned this notice is important because it is repeating. I am not talking about quorum here because quorum already came for 10 marks. If you look at just now accounts, I told CSR is important for September 24 and just now reopening they asked section 130. So that is not there in my list. So whatever is tested in May 24, I have eliminated in this list. Sir, that means are you telling me this alone if I study and go, it is important enough. Audit and auditors, they last time tested about qualification and disqualification of auditor. So this time I removed this from our list. Like that foreign company, what are the important concepts? If you look at general clause act, beautiful analysis we can do guys. In general clause act if you see, the analysis is they are asking only more concept based and case study questions and in May 24 itself, they ask the new concept new concept that which is not at all tested in the past. That means these areas section 14 to 24 never been tested, being tested be aware of these concepts as in May 24 it was tested. Like that what all is important in this chapter I have mentioned. So what you have to do, what should we do sir? Now in this expected questions, should I study only this and go? No. You study what you are already studying, come to this list, I will tell you how to get access for this come to this list, at least see that whatever is there over here, you have not skipped, at least this you are studying. One more last example, doctrine of ultra wires, indoor management, constructive notice. If you look at the past trend, old trend, if I go back to the old trend guys, when the previous syllabus was the new syllabus, in that I can see that incorporation, 
yeah look at this previous time from incorporation chapter again last time also this doctrines of indoor management and construct notice came for 6 marks in the second attempt of old syllabus that time new so that means this time also this opc this doctrine small company is important which i have added in our list so like this we have done last time shelf prospectus was tested so this time we have given that importance this trend is basically working out for the 70 marks how do you get access for this you get basically access for four things guys one is the pdf and in the pdf please refer only to the expected questions it might be a 10 page pdf but only the expected questions are three pages so you will get access only for this page last page then third and second page that's it these are the expected questions you can see them over here now how, what all access you are getting with this video go to the description and you will find a 12 hours marathon link i will highly recommend to watch that close to the exam for revision presentation feedback how to write law answers how did all india rank 1 write the answer how are the certified copies of other students how generally students are writing we have a separate playlist that link is available and also section numbers if you want to revise we have a playlist all of this is available in the link itself when you come to the channel in the playlist you can find all these playlists over here for example intersection numbers over here then if you look at presentation for ca inter law presentation if i look go inside there are seven videos for law presentation and then this pdf also is available in the link you will be routed to a website in that website you can just simply download that pdf for free don't have to pay a single rupee you just have to download that pdf and you will get access so i'm hoping it was helpful guys all the best for the exams and ensure again one disclaimer don't study only this and go ensure that you are not skipping these concepts to end just to give you one more motivation sir how can i believe this take llp chapter in llp this time last time they tested whistle blower so this time whistle blower will not come that's why in our list instead of whistle blower i have given concept of unlimited liability in case of fraud and also we have added small llp is a new concept small llp limits which i feel is important like this i have just properly spent more than half a day to curate this list so ensure you make the best of it guys so expected questions let's see you again with a similar series for subsequent attempts all the best for september guys thank you